Hi guys, it's Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on a Gladil System Mate A Class. So on this particular appliance, this works in conjunction with a gas boiler. Now this particular appliance what you can see, this is fitted in the airing cupboard and the gas boiler is downstairs in the kitchen. So the reason why it's called a boiler mate because the gas boiler heats up this appliance so this is called a thermal store unit so the whole of this unit is a thermal store so from this point here all the way down to the bottom is full of water heated via, via the gas boiler now if you've come across our master the basics course you'll see me talking about the different types of Glad Hill appliances. So this is one of them. Now on the A class, this is the latest range of our appliance what they made at this time. And this particular one has a diverter valve or mid-position valve you can see. So what we got down here, this is the primary pump. And that pump pumps between here and the gas boiler downstairs. So its sole purpose is to bring the primary water from the boiler up to here, through the pump, up through here. This side goes to the primary store and this side goes to the radiators for the central heating. Now for the hot water, you can see this hot water heat exchanger. Now this is the hot water pump. Now we've got a problem with this pump because it's short circuiting but I'll get into that in a minute. But I'm just going to tell you about the principle how it works. So when I open the cold water, well the hot water tap, this is a cold water inlet coming in. It goes through the plate and basically goes through the plate and then out to the taps like that and down. This pump, that sucks the primary water out of here, the thermal store, down into the plate exchanger, transfers the heat to the cold water, and then obviously that goes out hot, and then the return from the pump is here at the back there, goes back into the thermal store there to return back round, and then just circulates round the primary store through the pump, and that's the circuit going round to keep the plate hot so you get hot water. Now to make the hot water pump start in the first place, what you've got, you've got here these sensors, that's a hot water sensor. You've got this other one here. So these two work in conjunction with the pump. And this pump, it's a modulating pump. So actually we took the cables off here because as I said, it's short circuit this pump. So you can see it's got four wires instead of just three like on a standard pump. The fourth one is to give it the modulation so the speed of that pump decreases and increases subject to the temperature which is governed by the sensors here and here. So these sensors detect the flow of water, start the pump and then obviously it gets the hot water. So that's how the hot water circuit works. The store temperature inside this thermal store is controlled by a series of sensors. So you've got one here at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So these are monitoring the temperature of the thermal store. The one at the top acts as the overheat like thermostat. So if it gets too hot, that will shut it down and you'll get an error code flashing on the front here. Now everything is controlled by the PCB, so that's a PCB as you can see. And when it's on, you've got little symbols showing, showing the states of depending what status it's in. Now this unit also has this immersion heater. This is a six kilowatt immersion heater. You can see it's got two lives and two neutrals representing three kilowatts each. So if the gas boiler breaks down, you can use this switch here 
switch it over to this mode and then it'll activate this immersion heater and then that will heat the store and then give you like that backup so it's emergency spare tire so that's kind of the basics of what it does and how it operates and as I said if you want to learn more about these gliders you need to subscribe to my Master of the Basics program and you'll learn more about this